Hi everyone, I'm Marta from The Pickle and the Banana on Instagram and I am a Love Notions ambassador and I'm really excited to be here to talk about the new uh, Arlington pattern that just released. Uh, and I am going to talk about changing the neckline. So the Arlington already comes with a couple of options. One is the cowl neck, uh, which is my favorite, and then a turtleneck and a mock neck. I have some sensory issues and wearing things around my neck is not something that I enjoy. So I love the cowl neck, um, but I love all of the other options of the pattern. And so I'm going to go over how to change the neckline to just make it a simple scoop. Uh, changing the neckline on a pattern is one of the easiest things that you can do to help you customize patterns to suit what you like better. So here is my pattern piece. This is the front. Um, I've added some length and doing other things. And what I have done is I've just cut on the cowl neck cut line. Um, just to see, right, what happens. So the way that I adjust patterns is a very imprecise process, um, but this is how I do it. So once I cut, I just put it kind of to my body. Remember that your seam allowance is going to kind of make it a little bit higher up as well. And so, you know, when I look and I see, okay, is this roughly where I want it? And that that looks like something that I would be interested in in terms of height. So this is where I'm going to go. The good thing about it is that once I put the pattern all together, once I sew it up, I can try it on before I add my neckline. And then if I don't like it, if I want to make it lower, I can always cut more. So it is better to err on the side of caution and cut it a little bit higher up if you are afraid of going too low. You can always make your neckband a little bit thicker to, to compensate for it, but it doesn't have quite the same effect. So I started here. Now I'm going to cut out my pattern. I'm going to sew it up. And then before I add the neckband, I will try it on and we'll see how I feel about that. I also did take a little bit off the back um, so that it would not be quite as high as the turtleneck line and not quite as low as the cowl neck line. So I just took a sliver off the back. I will show you that as well. Okay, so that's about where I took it. So the original was up here and then the cowl neck is here and I kind of just went in the middle. Okay, so I will sew it up and I will try it on and then I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. So now I've sewn up my top uh, and I have just left the neckband raw and trying it on and I like where it is. Um, I'm going to keep it. I know that when I add my band, it's going to be a little bit higher depending on how thick I choose to do my band and that puts me right where I want to be. And then at the back, you can see I've got, same thing, a little bit of space. So once I add my band, it'll sit up higher on my neck. Um, so now we move on to the mathematical portion of calculating how long our neck band should be. So depending on the stretch of your fabric, you're going to want to calculate your neck band at anywhere between 85 and, or 80 and 90% of your neck opening. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and show you how to measure that number. Okay, so now we're going to calculate uh, the size of our opening. So I've got my top folded in half uh, the back and the front evenly and I'm just laying it out on my mat here so that I can see how big it is. It's really important here to not stretch your top because then you will get an inaccurate measurement. So you don't want to do that. You just want to lay it down gently, make sure that it's as flat as possible so that you can get the most accurate measurement. So if I start at the zero here, and I make sure that everything is straight and it's not curved, then I get a measurement of 14 inches. Now remember that because it is folded in half, it's actually 14 times two, 
which is 28. So I'm going to go ahead and write down in my notebook here that this is 28 inches. And then I can do my calculations. And what I will do is figure out what uh, percentage I need based on the amount of stretch that my fabric has. And then I will add my seam allowance. So I will come back in a minute to show you the fabric that I used and how stretchy it is. Okay, so here's my fabric and I'll show you. It's just a thin sweater knit uh, and it has, it has decent stretch. Uh, if I calculate it quickly on my mat here, it has about 50% stretch. Okay, it has about 50% stretch. Uh, and so that's, that's pretty good. It is not, it's only a two-way stretch. And you can see that it curls. So all of these things are factors that I take into consideration when I'm choosing the, the length and the width also of my neckband. I find that when it curls, I want to have a little bit more leeway and I will make my neckband a little bit wider and make my seam allowance more for that so that I can uh, make sure that I catch it all while I'm surging or sewing just in case it, it rolls in because it's unpleasant once you've finished. See that, it rolls in. You don't wanna finish and then realize that you rolled it in and you have to unpick it and do it all over again. Okay, so because my fabric does have good stretch and good recovery, right, we can see that it, it bounces back once I push it. Uh, I am going to calculate my neckband at 85%. Uh, if you were using something like a cotton lycra or something like an athletic that had a lot of stretch, then you could calculate it at 80% because you know that it will cover that distance. Whereas a fabric that has less stretch, less recovery, or like a looser sweater knit, you're going to want to calculate your band at a lower percentage. So between 85 and 90. So I am going to go ahead and calculate my uh, fabric or my percentages. So my um, opening was 28 inches. So I calculated 85% of 28 inches, which turned out to be 23.8, which I rounded up to 24. And then I added my seam allowance of uh, 3 eighths times 2, right? Because on both sides, you're going to join your neckband together so that was 0.75 and so when I put it all together my neckband is going to be 24.75 inches going with the stretch and then how wide you want it depends on your personal preference again like I said I'm going to make mine a little bit wider just so that I can have a little bit of wiggle room for the curling so I will probably make mine um, two inches, two and a half inches. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut that out using my quilting ruler. If you don't have one of these, it is really handy for cutting neckbands or any kind of straight pieces like that. It helps you lay everything flat and it helps you to make sure that you're measuring correctly. This is a really great investment. Uh, if you don't have one, I highly recommend that you pick it up. So I am going to go ahead and cut out my neckband and then I'm going to sew it on. I'm gonna baste it on with my sewing machine first using a long uh, stitch so that it is easy to rip out and then I'll try it on. And if I like it, great, I will move on to serging it and then top stitching. And if I don't like it, then luckily I have more fabric and I can try again because sometimes it's trial and error. Okay, so let's see how these calculations work out for me and I will be right back. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Uh, I have attached my neckband, it worked out. My calculations were correct, which rarely happens. Uh, I'm an English teacher, I don't really do math, but this worked out. So, uh, you know, if I could do it, then certainly uh, anybody can. So here's my neckline. Um, it ended up right where I wanted it to. And there's the back, and that is sitting correctly as well. Not too high, not too low. 
and I've top stitched it and it's laying nice and flat so uh, I'm very happy with it and now I know that I can make this adjustment to all of the other Arlingtons that I'm going to make. This one I used the long bishop sleeves and I added some length and the band and I plan on wearing it with leggings. Um, so thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you have any questions, please feel free to tag me on Facebook or Instagram and I'm excited to see all of your Arlingtons and make sure you grab the pattern while it's on release sale.